All right, guys, how's it going? Gaming console tech back again. I'm Ash, as you guys already know. This is the other beardy that I was on about. Um, I've already put a video, uh, video up against the other beardy I've got, the young one. That's Rocket. This is Rosie. So she's going to be in this video only. But the main reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of my setup has changed. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Um, also, there's something else I want to mention as well. I've actually signed up to a site called My Geek Box, which basically they send you like goodies each month. You pay a monthly subscription and you get a few bits and pieces every now and then. She's having a move around. She's wondering what's going on because I'm talking to someone and she don't know what. But anyway, yeah, I'll be getting a parcel from that and I'll do an unboxing of that when I do eventually get it as well. That will be next month, I believe. So we'll sort that out. Um, now. The reason I'm doing the setup video is because it is getting fairly stacked in here, but that's not the main reason I'm doing it. A few things in there have moved about because I am getting something in places of that, but I'll go through that later. Um, now, I'm just going to move her that way a little bit. Now, basically, the games that I've got and all that kind of stuff are generally a pain in the neck because I'm actually running out of room now. I'm at that point where I'm actually running out of room for certain things. Um, now... All the PS2 ones are where you remember them, down in the corner on that side, and that's the majority of all of them. That is getting filled very, very quickly, because I seem to be picking up cheap PS2 games every other week, so it's kind of getting really bad. But yeah, all my PS2 games go from the second shelf down all the way down to the bottom. I'm not even going to attempt to go through what's down there, because it's not worth it. Um, the other additions that I've got with these cupboards as well is obviously the fact that I've got more storage space. Um, PS1 and also behind there, I've got my one and only Dreamcast game looking all pathetic and useless in the middle. It's not useless, it's MSR, so it's not useless. Um, my two rock band DS games and also my DS stuff, which includes the 3DS and the normal DS as well, which, you know, that's there. And then on the top, I've got my two physical copies of PS Vita games, which is Final Fantasy. And hey, up, she's on me. Look, what are you doing? Where are you, where are you going? You want it there? Oh, okay. But yeah, you've got Final Fantasy and you've also got um, Assassin's Creed 3, which, you know, it's, it's there. So I'm going to pop that back on there. Um, along with that, one of my old t shirts, which I reluctantly don't, you know, really. I don't want to chuck it away. It's got memories. But that is up there as well. Along with all the Halo figurines, which you've all seen before, that's cause of concern most of the time. Um, right, still on that shelf, I've got my DS, which is a black one, you've already seen that. And also my PSP, which, you know, still working good. I've replaced that with the other one, um, which makes a heavy grinding sound. It still works, ironically enough, as well, so, you know, why not? Going to the middle shelf, actually. GameCube and Wii stuff. Now, I'm getting there with the GameCube stuff. Don't tend to find it much in my town at all. It's one of those sets of games that just don't find. Um, don't know why. Don't really care. I don't want to find more, more GameCube games. It's annoying. Um, Wii stuff tends to be very expensive. Again, I don't know why, but it's very, very expensive. Um, but when I do find some cheap stuff, I do pick it up. The last one I picked up was... Link's crossbow training, actually, for the week, which cost me, I think, a grand total of about three quid or something. Um, moving down to the second one is, I'll just move down here while she climbs all over me, um, my PSP stuff, which includes the UMD films as well. Um, that's becoming a fair collection now as well, so it's getting there to the point where I can safely say I'm getting a decent collection. She's got hold of my hat. Yeah, sorry, guys. Um, ow, ow, there we go. Um, at the bottom of that, you've got all the guides. The, ma the majority of the guides that take up the room down here aren't actually mine. The majority of the guides that are down here are my wife's, because they are Final Fantasy ones and they're like six inch thick, you know what I mean? So it's one of them. Um, you've already seen the uh, cupboards there. Um, top one is Game Boy Color and just standard Game Boy games. The second one down is Game Boy Advance games, which a fair few of now. Um, I'm going to start expanding on these drawers at some point. 
um, and loose DS games, which are at the moment Guitar Hero, isn't it? The other ones are bits, of, bits and bats, really, memory cards and stuff. What are you doing? Seriously, you climbed up my hat. Alright, fair enough. Um, but yeah, memory cards, and I've got a few badges in there, so I can like Assassin's Creed badges, but yeah, that's all then. Um, right, I'm gonna have to get you down there, aren't I? Right, bear with me one minute. Um, and I can tell you guys are laughing. Stop it. Ugh. There we go. Well, yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Right, what I'm going to do, bear with me guys, I'm going to stick her on bed because bed's right in front of us. So I'm going to pop her on there. There we are. But you've seen her. You've, you've seen my other beard. There you go. Um, actually, that's my wife's beard, but she seems to love everybody. So, yeah. Now, moving on to the next. In fact, I'll go through a bit of the memorabilia as well, which you've already seen before. But, you know, my Sonic plush and my Tails plush and a few of the cards and things I've acquired over the years. These bits here, for those of you who are only just subscribing to my channel and haven't watched my previous videos, these are actually part of a board game. Um, not sure what board game, but they're part of a board game. They're there, you know, they, they're just there for comical use really. Um, like I said, I use them as statues, why not? Moving that way, as we all say, and I've got a scratch on my neck now that hurts. I think she's pulled my hair out or something, but still. Now, again, Halo, Lego, which, yeah, I'm a bit weak for Halo Lego. If I ever find it anywhere, I'll probably pick it up, as long as I can get it for a decent price. Um, you'll probably also notice the Skylanders as well. They are what my son had, which is kindly passed on to me, because now he's not obsessed with Skylanders, he's obsessed with Minecraft. So, yeah. So... We'll figure that out. It'll be into something next week. It will. Something else next week. Anyway, now Xbox stuff. Or, well, original Xbox stuff. I'm not going to say Xbox One, am I? Let, let's face it, we're not going to say Xbox One. Just say original Xbox. It's life easy. But still, all them on there are pretty much what I've got. The few that I've picked up over the last couple of days is, well, picked up that one, which is DSX Invisible War, which haven't played yet. haven't really got around to playing. Will do, but not really got there. Um, I played the first DSX, and I've also got DSX for my PS3, I think. Um, that's down there, so we'll find out. Um, but yeah, not much on there, but I am getting there. The more common games than anything else. I think the rarest one I've got that's on there at the moment is the Indiana Jones one, which... Emperor's Tomb is not what I'm so yeah. Moving down, you've got... All my Xbox stuff, which is still in its same old place. It's always been there. Um, not really finding much for it, if I'm honest. It's one of them. Now, that, obviously, is my 2DS. Um, got a few bits for it again. Not much, because I'm not finding much for it at the moment. Um, every game I seem to want is highly expensive, and the rest of the stuff tends to be a little bit hit and miss. So, as you can probably tell, most of the DS stuff's puzzle games. But, um, Tron figures, and these are quite impressive. Now, might look like Minecraft stuff, but the, there is a thing. I've got two more down here of the Dragon Ball Z. I've got Goku and Vegeta as well. Um, now, these have been printed off. These were actually printed off on our PC. Now, my wife found this site, and she's laughing at me getting the camera there. Um, but, yeah, my wife found these, and basically what you do, you print them off. And they come in like separate bits and what you do you fix them together they'll fix up like boxes and um, like flat pack boxes basically and if i'm honest they're actually pretty damn cool um i can't remember website but i will get you back to that i will i'll tell you that later on um but yeah i've got a zelda one i've got a creeper down there I've got goku and i've also got vegeta down there which is pretty cool pretty cool indeed so i'm gonna whack them back down there um, behind them is some more of my Xbox stuff, which I was saying about DSX earlier. DSX is there, so it's me 360, not my PS3. Um, but yeah, that's all my Xbox 360 stuff on there. Um, also, my Vita. You've already seen the Vita games. My Vita's in there, which is nice and beautiful. Um, I had a few problems with it a day ago, but it seems to have fixed itself. But there you go, that's my Vita. Um... Moving down, still got my Fruit Ninja Bomb as well, yeah, still got that, which is that there, there you are, Fruit Ninja 
bomb. Doesn't actually work because my wife sold the other one at a car boot and brought that one back. But yeah, I'll probably try and fix that at some point. Don't know when, don't know how, but I'll probably will. Um, PS3 stuff. Um, I actually got some PS3 stuff coming. Um, one of which is the new Kingdom Hearts collection, which is 2.5 HD remix, which I will be buying. That's actually pre-ordered, so hopefully I'll get that. Um, and also Final Fantasy, Uncharted, more the common things really on there. And then at the bottom is another set of PS3 stuff. I'm going to move that because you can't see it. Um, but yeah, another set of PS3 stuff, which some, some down there are a little bit rare. The one that I've been enjoying probably most out of all them is that one, which is DuckTales Remastered. Um, two days, it took me to clock it, I had, was slightly better at it than I thought. So, yeah. Two days, two days! Um, but yeah, down at the bottom, if I can kneel down, th this is where everything gets complicated. Um, down at the bottom is my Mega Drive things. Um, I've only actually got one Unbox game, which is that one. And, to top it all off, that one is up for trade, because I've actually got the same one there, boxed. So any of you guys want to trade for that, for something, I'm not too fussed. If any of you want it, it's worth a quid. So it's up to you guys, I'm not fussed. Just give me a shout and I'll uh, pass that on to you. Um, Tron figures, which is always good. More of the Skylanders, which I'm going to open up because you can't see everything. I'll open that up. This is all my sun collecting. Um, they're all mixed at the moment, but they're all in there. And also you've got the one there as well, which, yeah, it's all fun and games. Um, if you want to know about any of this stuff on the wall, I've actually done a previous video on that. So if you want to see any of that, go to a previous video. Um, just go to my video history and see what's in there. Um, and you've got some more there, look. Uh, some of them are actually special edition. That one was an Easter one, which we got last year. Um, that's random. What are you doing? Put that down in a minute. And then you've got like things like those. Yeah. But that's what I've inherited off my boy because he's now into Minecraft. So yeah, it's all fun games. So we'll wipe that back down there. Oh, and I'm killing my knees. I'll save that. It's fine. Um, Moving to that side, I'm moving the bottle here. I've got my uh, Sony headphones, which I actually use my small TV at the moment, due to the fact that if my wife's watching something on the big TV up top, you've already seen that stuff. Um, if that's the case, then I end up putting the earphones in and getting lost in my games instead. Um, also, I've got Keyring of Knuckles, um, also Sonic, and I've also got this thing here, which is actually a card holder, PS4 shaped card holder for any you put credit cards in there or a game card or something, gift card, whatever. Um, other than that, the only thing I've really added, if I'm honest guys, is the few boxes which have been the Game Boy Advance box up there. And I've put my Final Fantasy box up there as well, which wasn't up there earlier, it was just lied on top. So, that's that part of it. Now, the major part that's changed is going to be the pain in the neck because... I've changed it around for a reason, I will explain that. So I'm going to pull myself back from here and watch my wife taking the video in there. So you can see my pretty lights. It's all pretty lights, I like pretty lights. Girl. Shut up. <laughs> but anyway, now this is what I mean when I say I'm changing things around. Now I'm going to turn back to the camera a bit. Um, now, if you guys have seen my previous setup, you will know that my Xbox 360 was there, my PS3 was there. They have been moved for a damn good reason, and I will get to that. But the thing that's changed is I've now got my HD splitter there, which has now got that hooked up to it, and that down there, which is the PC, which has currently got my channel on. Um, but that is hooked up through HD2 on this tele, so I can now watch anything from the PC into there. So HD1. That's an HD1. So, but yeah. That's got that and that in it, basically. That's all at that side. Um, then you've got the Xbox 360, which is hooked up via HD on its own. Uh, that's not hooked up through that. So, um, to top that off, there's also the portal, which also came with the stuff that my son gave me. 
But all that is on the top shelf now with the HD TV. Now, my original plan, now I'm going to take this off because it's getting a bit itchy, I'm sweating a bit. Mm. Um, now, the main thing that I've changed right now is... Ash, can you just help me a minute? She's down my back. We'll grab her. We'll put her on bed, shall we? There you go. <laughs> look, 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 you're alright. Oh, see, see. See, see, she's just climbing everywhere, guys. So I'll pop around here. There we go. You go on there. Now, like I was saying, all that on there is basically HD stuff, and that's my plan with this shelf. Now, this is what I meant with that I was going to explain. That, now, I've, I've got to say, I've, I haven't done a video on this yet, but I will do. I've got a video in line for this. That has just been announced to get sold separately as a single entity, not with the Xbox One. Oh, God. Yeah. They've decided that it's going to cost basically a hundred and I think what was it one hundred and forty dollars in America, which over here it won't be as much as over hundred quid, but still it's a damn lot for a single entity for the Xbox One. Now this is where I'm going to make you guys laugh because I bought that for fifteen pound. I've done a video on that before. I'm not even going to go there, but you know how great that is if you find anything like that. Now, here's the good thing. I am getting an Xbox One at some point. It is actually pre-ordered, but it's not coming soon. I've got to wait until the release date for that because it is a white one with Sunset Overdrive, which was announced at E3 this year as a special edition. And I'm, I'm a bit gutted that I can't get it now. <laughs> I am, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting one of the best games with it, I hope. Everyone's been looking forward to Sunset Overdrive Hopefully, that'll be a good game. If it's not, I'm going to be pissed off, you know, guys. I will. I'll be really pissed off. But yeah, underneath that will be my Xbox One when I do eventually get it. God knows where I'm going to put controllers and stuff like that. I haven't thought far enough for that yet. Um, hopefully, that space is going to be left alone for a while because basically the PS4 will take that place at some point, but that won't be anytime soon because that is actually our media centre downstairs. So that's staying down there for now. Um, and I'm not going to replace anything there. Now, the only thing I will say where my retro stuff's concerned is everything that's set up at the moment, I will only be getting one more console in order to set up my retro setup. That's mainly because of room restrictions as well as the fact that I need to collect for some of my other consoles as well. And I've only got one more space for another console down here. Um, and I think I've got enough to be contending with at the minute as well. But still, got my Wii in middle, PS3 controls and Xbox controllers, um, all hooked up with chargers. That's an independent charger, it doesn't charge off that. Whereas that charges from that thing there, which, that's what that wire is. I've had to tack it down, because it's a pain in the ass. Um, so, moving down, that's the whole current gen kind of setup. There you go. Take a drink of that. Um, moving down, um, as you can probably see on there, is Mario. That's actually playing off mine 64, which we'll get down there in a minute. Um, now, I'm going to move them, because I'm a bit unorganised, I do apologise. Now, on this side is my 360, uh, 360, um, original Xbox. 360, 360's there. Oh, God, have I? Um, my original Xbox, which is one of my pride and joys. That's actually doing me some favours. Currently contending with Forza, which is pain in the neck. It is. It's a horrible game to play. Um, didn't kind of refine it until Forza 2, but yeah, I've not got down to that yet. Moving across, that's again hooked up through SCAR around here. Um, as you can probably tell, it's a mess behind there. Anyway. Um, moving to the next one is the PS2, which is, again, one of my pride and joys, mainly because of Final Fantasy, which is always on there. It's my wife's pride and joy. She will not let me get rid of that PS2 at all. If I did wash her out, she'd literally serve me up a new ass. It's that simple. Um, now, GameCube, which is black. Um, you can probably tell. I can't get it out there. It's tacked down. I do a lot of it. But, the moment in there is nothing. I thought I might have something in there, but it's not. There was a Zelda in there. Don't know where that's gone. Probably back in its case. Um, but yeah, that's 
my GameCube, which doesn't get much use at the moment. There's nothing on it that I'm currently contending with. Moving along, obviously you've got the um, CRT TV, which I'm playing everything through, which I'm not going to hook these up to that tablet. It's that simple, because that'd just be a pain in the neck. There's too much space to actually hook them up through the bottom, through the bottom, through the top. So yeah, that's done. Also, my Dreamcast, which, as you guys already know, was my pride and joy last time I had one. Um, so yeah, that's that shelf done. Um, I do plan on getting a few more games for that because it's finding them that's the issue at the minute because there's not many places to sell them at all. Um, I'm currently stuck on online or looking for trades with you guys, which hit me up if you want to trade anything I've got. You know what I mean? If I've got doubles of something, I'll let you know and I'll do a trade with you or something. But still, that's my Dreamcast on with. Now, here's the interesting part. Now, this is essentially a retro thing. Um, I don't really count that as retro because it's all CD systems, basically. The ones down here are all cartridge systems, and that's what it's going to remain. Um, on this side, I've got my uh, N64, which you can't actually see. I'll unplug that. If I unplug it, I'm not going to plug it. I come up with no control, but it won't. Um, my N64, and then also my SNES, which currently I don't have any games for. I can't test it out. I did buy it for a fairly cheap price, so I'm just wondering whether it'll be working or not. Um, I ain't got a chance. It's set up and everything with SCART and power. It comes on with a red light, but I'm not entirely sure what happens with it. Now, that side is my uh, Mega Drive, which at the moment has Sonic compilation in it, which Sonic 2, uh, sorry, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Mean Bean Machine. Um, I thought it might be Sonic 1, 2, and 3, but it wasn't. There we go. Um, and then, as I said, I've got one space down there, which I wouldn't mind putting a master system, which is what I've got my mind set on. A master system will be going there. Um, hopefully a master system 2, just because it'll fit on there better. Um, as you guys already know, the Master System 1 is a beast, and it will not fit on there. Um, it's only a small space, so yeah, hopefully that will get done. And then I've got a miscellaneous box which has a memory card in it, and one of which is a Dream... Oh, oh that's PS1. Yeah, PS1 and Dreamcast 1. I'm not sure if the Dreamcast 1 actually works, so I'm going to test it out. Then... Finally, you've got my uh, miscellaneous boxes, so I'm just going to move that side See, i got a trolley with wheels to move my controls around. It ain't that easy to fucking move. Okay. In there, I currently have all my uh, wee bits and pieces. The uh, grip controller, which is that one. That one, which is the wheel, obviously. And then you've also got a baseball bat, a tennis racket, and... Golf club, so, yeah. We'll do boy sports, I suppose. Everything you pretty much need. Um, the other bits and pieces in there are basically wires, essentially. Um, yeah, just wires, and then yeah, that which I'm not actually using at the moment, which goes on the Vita. So yeah, like that. Yeah. There we go. Pop like that way. Like that way. And again, this is literally miscellaneous wires. All these wires are, well, there for no reason, unless they're spares. Um, one of which is actually a component cable for that Wii, which I've not set up for a while. And then no portal, which don't really need to set up anymore, because that one does all three years. So yeah, um, we've got a few chargers and a few drugs, which is in there as well, for the PS3, which is always good. Um, Hasn't been used in a while, but, you know, maybe we'll get on to it. Maybe. That's not a guarantee, I know that much, but still, it's always good. Pop that back down there. And pop that on there. Now, the other part of my setup, you guys already know, is my PC. Well, my PC, my wife's PC, okay. which I'm currently doing the uh, editing and stuff on for my videos and stuff, which I will be starting editing and things like that with my videos. Now, 
the only other thing I've done with the PC at the moment is hooked up a controller to it. I'm doing a lot more PC gaming with Steam and whatnot. So I'm currently playing that. Um, and also, I also can tell my videos as well, which is up there. Um, other than that, all my gaming is been doing it on the tablet, which I'm actually getting quite bored of because everything keeps updating and not working ever again. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But other than that, guys, that is pretty much the setup. If I'm honest, I'm gonna move that out. There we go. And get back in there. Um, other than that, guys, like I said, that's pretty much a setup for this video. Um, it is getting bigger. I am running out of space, and sooner or later, it's probably going to get a little bit out of hand. But that's when the fun starts, and I pull it back again. So yeah, that'll be the plan anyway. But until I do my next video, hopefully it'll be this unboxing of the Geek Box, which hopefully that'll be great. What I'm thinking of doing that is actually making separate videos for that and just making videos dedicated to that geek box each month, which should be fun because it'll be a surprise to me as well when it comes to the post because I have no idea what I'm getting. I don't plan on looking on the website in order to find out what I'm getting. So I'll just open it up, basically be a surprise to me and you. It's all good. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. All... God knows how many minutes of it. I'm not even going to start going there. But anyway, thanks for watching. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. And I shall see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching. See you again.